my name's Mike Harrington. Jim Huggins. Tana Burke. Uh, Scott Burke's wife. My name is Bill Boucher. Hi, my name is Justin Angle. My name's Jim McLeod. I'm Kyle Wingscheidt. I am Susan Hay Patrick. Hello, I'm Suzanne Tillman. My name is Klaus Uhlenbrook. My name's Tina Anderson. Hi, I'm Paul Gladen. Hello, I am Diana, one of Scott's sisters. Uh, I've known Scott from uh, college and uh, ever since, ever since he came back from California. So. And Scott and I have been friends since our childhoods. Um, our parents were good friends. I was hired as the director of our small business institute and Scott was one of the sponsors. And I've known Scott Burke for approximately 15 years. Yeah, if there was three words to describe my dad, at least for me, it would be very caring. Generous. For me, the outgoing. He's loyal, um, passionate, and spiritual. Kind, leader, and sharp. He's always dressed so sharply. Community-minded, insightful, and funny. Faith, family, funny, and can I add, freaky clean. <laughs> Supportive, funny, and humble. Scott's very outgoing. Um, ever since I've known him, he's always been able to make friends, and because of his loyalty, keep his friends. His, probably the second thing I'd say, he's very witty, always has a comeback, <laughs> never forgets a joke. Scott Burke is a mentor, he's a builder, he is kind. He is very successful and an outstanding leader driven and ambitious. A damn fine young man. <laughs> what makes Scott an outstanding University of Montana alum and such a great member of our community? I think that last word is the key, community. He's so dedicated to this community and he leads his organization in a way that, re that re reflects that value set. He's also a great business leader. The culture he's created at his bank here is very impressive. And uh, on top of all that, Scott's a great family man. He uh, is a great example, a role model for the students at the University of Montana Business School. Well, just as far as the community goes, we always have this uh, running joke in the family. That anytime we rec he recognizes someone he knows out in public, we take a drink, and we always end up drinking more. It's turned into a drinking game, you know, so many <laughs> he people. Joke, he's always <laughs> knows someone in the community, someone he works with, someone at the university, so. <laughs> he's out There's even times I'll do it by myself when I'm sitting there, are you Scott Burke's son? I'm like, oh, well, he knows them. <laughs> he started to do it, too. He'll be like, oh, they're a customer. Drink. <laughs> Scott has really helped establish and maintain what I would call a really appropriate tone at the top. Everything's cloaked with integrity, honesty, loyalty. He leads by example. His willingness to get in the trenches, um, he will do it in a quiet way. Uh, he doesn't want to be recognized. Um, the community also, I know your love of people and wanting to help. Um, is why you volunteer for and have been on so many committees and so many boards. Um, it's because of that very same thing. You love the relationship. He has given so much to our students. It shines through his eyes when he's talking to them and he's helping them with their entrepreneurial ventures. And he's always willing to answer questions to help them succeed. I think because he is a great champion of the university, he gives, he advocates, he volunteers. He's always willing to meet with people, he's always willing to kind of share his expertise, share his time, connect kind of with people and just try to help them succeed. Being positive, it's not just, he doesn't provide solutions, he says, how can I support you achieving those goals? A memory I have of Scott Burke interacting with students from the College of Business was during an Epic Ideas Challenge. The students had some pretty new ideas that they were still refining and he walked around from table to table encouraging each and every one of them. It was wonderful to see. I'm guessing that most people would probably want to know what is Scott really like at home, right? So when I reflect kind of on that moment and think about maybe topics that we would talk about on our date night, for example, the things that we talk about would probably be uh, he never talks about himself, for instance. He talks about, nor does he talk about things that are important to him, such as a new ski coat or um, a new car. It's always, he's always reflecting on his moments of giving, I would say. And so it's probably why he talks about them is they are really his true moments of joy. 
I thank you for letting me be a part of this. Uh, Scott's very deserving of this award. I'm glad he's being recognized. Uh, he, uh, I know in the years that are coming, he's going to be giving back even more. So uh, thank you for again for letting me be part of this, and congratulations, Scott. Uh, you deserve it. Burke is a tremendous banker in person. Good luck on your future, Scotty. But it's so neat that we can do this because everybody came, you're probably yourself, you come from humble backgrounds. And it's so neat that you're in Montana, and by God, we made it. Thanks, Scott, for being the cool person and doing so many awesome things in our community. Thank you. Thank you, Scott, for being such an outstanding supporter of the College of Business. Thank you, Scott, for being a great friend, a mentor, and somebody that I can rely on. I want to say thank you to Scott Burke for being such a great supporter of our students and our college. Scott, thank you so much for all your contributions to the College of Business and the University of Montana. We lost my father about a year and a half ago, and Scott and his family were out at Purdue for one of their son's college graduations, which is kind of a big deal, Purdue University Engineering. And uh, my dad's vigil service was on a Friday night. Scott got back into town that day, I believe, was there front and center Friday night at the vigil, was there front and center at the funeral. And then about a week after the funeral, he sent the most magnificent letter to my mom. And we all tried reading it to her we kind of kept busting up and she still pulls it out on a regular basis and gets misty eyed so thanks Scott for making my mom cry on a regular basis. The damn kid better get in board you know we didn't, didn't spend all this time getting him shaped up and we knew he's going to, going to do something good. I'm so pleased I jest a little bit but I'm so damn pleased and so proud to say he's my son. You bet. Thanks, Dad, for all you do for us and for our community. We love, love you. Love you. <laughs>